the Camino Francais. This pilgrimage of nearly 800 kilometers from France to Santiago de Compostela is one of our favorite places to be in the world, and we're ecstatic to be back on the trail. This is our second time walking the Camino Francais together, and this time we hit the Camino with a bit of a running start. We started our Camino 28 days ago in Le puy en valais France over 750 kilometers from the traditional start of the Camino Francais in Saint-Jean-Pied-de-Port. If you're just joining our journey, these are our friends Hans and Laura. They met on the Camino six years ago, and they're getting married in Santiago de Compostela after we walk 1,500 kilometers together. But in this video, we're back in Spain, following those yellow arrows, and we're excited to share the next stage of our journey. I'm Lainey. And I'm Sean. And this is Days We Spend. In St. Jean Pied-de-Port, we visited the Pilgrim Office and wandered the old streets of this charming Basque village, resting up for the big first day on the Camino Francais. I think I'm carrying too much weight up the mountain. I gotta fix it. That's better. Let's go. Good morning, pilgrims. Good morning, pilgrims. We're so starting happy. our walk of process fires. Actually, we are in pretty good spirits. I don't know why I'm so awake right now. Because it's not raining this time. Oh, yeah. Mm. So we're walking up toward Roncesvalles, Valles, we're about 5K from Orison. It's like 7.30 in the morning, eight in the morning, and there's these gusts of hot air. Hair dryer, blow dryer gusts of hot air. Here comes one. This sucks. Super weird. <laughs> it feels like a fire ahead. It's like a sauna. Ugh. Harder than I remember. Last time I had an egg too. <laughs> you guys are great. <laughs> That's right, majestic beast. Come run to us. Bienvenido a España. <laughs> It's day one of the Camino Francais, but this is day 29 for us of walking. Mm -hmm. It's September 4th, just crossed the border into Spain. We did it. We're about seven kilometers from Roncesvalles now. The whole day was just beautiful, but oh my gosh, it's been so windy. And there are so many pilgrims. We were told at the pilgrim office that the last few days there have been 400 to 450 pilgrims starting every day. So we are in a very crowded bubble in the beginning of September, which we knew would happen.
two ways down. The steep way, the less steep way. The way that goes with um, a little longer, but less steep. So we're gonna take that way this time because we did the other one before. Okay. Get in yet? We got beer. Get your breakfast, walk the 2.6 kilometers that are super easy and flat and in the forest from Rosas Valles to Burget and go get your first coffee. Go Burget a coffee. Nailed it. Oh. Majestic horse. Hello, beautiful. So it is about 10.15 in the morning. We are about six and a half kilometers from Zubiri, where most people stop on their day two of their Camino Frances. But since this is our day 30 of walking, <laughs> we don't know where we're going tonight. We're just kind of winging it. So whether we go 30 kilometers or more, we will see. So stay tuned. <laughs> for the adventure. <laughs> Kinda craggy. Zubiri! So we were starving. We ate a really quick lunch in Zubiri. And it was lovely. Met up with Hans and Laura. And now um, I think we're gonna crush a big day today. That's what we're feeling. Why, Sean, why? <laughs> Your own person. Content. <laughs> he just threw a bunch of baguettes at the horses. Horses like oh, baguettes, oh, apparently. Oh. Eat it. tired. We decided to go to Pamplona and I can see it. 
We still have eight more kilometers to go. Why we're going to Pamplona, I'll tell you in Pamplona. So we just got licorice, candies, Aquarius, Shanka chocolate milk at the candy store. We're gonna crush these last four kilometers. That's the city gate and we just went through. There's the city walls. We're walking up. Uh huh. Which means 42 kilometers. We did it. And my legs want to die. <laughs> On day two, we went 42 kilometers from Roncesvalles to Pamplona. And I really just don't recommend that for anyone. It felt like I was rushing it a little bit because we've already walked this trail before we weren't missing out on stuff but it was oh, my feet were so sore and the only reason we did it was because our friends had a private apartment for us to stay in in pamplona so we knew if we got stuck without beds somewhere else we could have stayed with them so we almost stopped in zabaldica it was about four o'clock when we got there so we said nah let's just keep going eight more kilometers to Pamplona so we did but we also really needed to wash all of our stuff properly our friend got really bad bed bug bites and out of precaution we wanted to make sure that none of our stuff had bed bugs and were carrying anything to be clear we didn't have any bites ourselves and we didn't see any evidence of bed bugs but it's always good to do a double check and to wash your things on high heat Use a dryer if you can, really inspect your stuff, take apart your backpack, clean everything you can. We did that in Pamplona and it was a crappy night, <laughs> but we ended it with bean shows, so yay. I love Pamplona. We gotta go back like without the Camino and just enjoy the bean shows and the architecture <laughs> and the people. Pamplona, you are a sneaky little, little city that we gotta do some more time in. <laughs> Going over to eat the apple. No, beautiful. Hey, bud. Lenny, come over here and say hi. Hello. Hello.